When I awoke from my dreamless sleep, I was just in time to witness the end of the world. Kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. Whoa. No one is going to stop me. You hear? Not you. Definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, I will.
The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God, sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved, my younger sister. How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. at last is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope i would like to bet on hope if you believe you are the true savior you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey 
He's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. Strange. Snow came down this way, but it's a dead end. There has to be a way to get through.
I need more info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. Sometimes it's so thick, my monitors go completely blank. Sorry, Light. I'll try to feed you as much info as possible, but with this chaos, I'm not much help. It's locked. Can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And snow's inside, or whatever's left of them. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... Light! You've been spotted! You've gotta get out of there! Now! After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it! I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? But you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> Once upon a time, I committed a terrible sin. It happened long ago, in a past that I cannot change. I was fighting a war that never ended. I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. I sent her to her death. I knew that they could not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. Was his voice, and 
I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant. And if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah. And I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior. There's something I want to tell you. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining. So when you have the time, come and talk to me.
Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope, Estime. Once, long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. He was up here in lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us and the world. Benevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it, and he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end. But for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. It all happened such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did, and maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With hope as time to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world, and ushering them into a new one. A savior. Servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries. That's what it took to destroy all of creation. Now there's barely anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Benevelza will finally awaken, and he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes, as many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. That is the Book of Conquests, an ensorcel tome. It draws on your memories to recreate foes that you have previously defeated, so you can fight them again.
As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should, but the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Radia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers. And much more. If you offer your life force, this Radia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. I can delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair. Their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world. And in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. Good work, Light.
Anytime you want. Just remember though, you have to come back here every morning at six. You're giving the savior a curfew. Is that it? There is a good reason. I'll explain it to you when the time comes. We can use the warp machine to send you back down. Just step in front of the device whenever you're ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> 